Hi everyone, welcome to our channel where we explore the exciting world of programming and technologies. In this video series, we are going to take a deep dive into Django middleware. So if you don't know what middleware is and how to create that, this is the right video series that you have come to. So in this series, what we are going to do is like we are going to learn about what is Django middleware then how to write your own middleware and how to activate and run your middleware, how to process and update the input requests and how how to handle the exceptions using middleware and this is the course outline it will be five part video series and this is the first part where we are going to learn about what is django middleware and create the project for it then second part is all about function based middlewares then third one is like advanced function based middlewares fourth one is about class based middlewares and fifth one is advanced class based middlewares. I will be releasing the videos weekly so make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out any of the videos because this is a very important concept that is being used in Django. Before we get started the link is already given in the description for the github and you all can refer to every branch as like part of the video. So since this is part one video lesson one will be the corresponding branch for it then next part will be part two for that lesson two and likewise all the code are present so you all can check that out now what is django middleware so as it says django middleware is hook into django's request and response processing it is very lightweight low level plugin uh, for globally altering the django's input and output every middleware is responsible for some specific functions for example authentication middleware which is given by django itself is responsible for associating users request with the sessions Basically, there are two types of middleware. First is function based middleware and second one is class based middleware. We are going to look at both of them in the upcoming videos. So now let's go into VS code and start configuring our project. And yes, I have formatted my system finally. And this is the new everything is new over here. So if we are missing any plugins, then we will install it on the way. So now I'm going to start by creating our shell or virtual environment. So I have created my virtual environment. This time I'm using virtual environment because uh, because of system formatting and there is some issue with PPNV. So that's why I'm going to use virtual ENV for this project series. And we are going to activate that now. So it will be source.env bin and activate. So since our environment is activated, let me install the Django so pip install Django and once that is done let me clear it and that's it so now we are going to start by creating our project itself first and then app so I'm going to call the project as always as a start project src so Django admin start project src oops my bad Django admin start project src then go inside src and then we are going to do is Django admin start app and we'll call it as demo like always we are going to uh, keep it same and then we are going to go inside src and again inside src and in settings.py we are going to start by configuring our project sorry app so that will be demo now that our app is installed we will start by creating our file called as middlewares.py because that is where we are going to write our all the middlewares and we will write those middlewares in next upcoming videos so make sure to subscribe to our channel and in this one we are going to write a view so that we can uh, like configure it and use it for middleware responses to check whether middleware is working or not correctly so i'm going to first create a middlewares.py middlewares.py and we are going to go inside view we are going to remove all these imports and we are going to do is import is uh, json response so from django.http import json response and then we are going to also import the csrf exempt it will be from django.views.decorators.csrf it is csrf import exempt sorry it is csrf exempt so now our both the imports are done we are going to create our first view function so it will be called as def index and it will receive request and in this what we are going to do is print print the index 
so I'm going to say index called and these print statements are really important for you all to understand how this middleware is working so that's why I'm putting print statements purposely so index function called and we are going to put a request dot post okay and then what we are going to do is return json response and in this what we are going to say is message so message message will be shubham replied hello so our first function is also ready but we have to use this decorator over here so i'm going to use that decorator because we are going to use it as uh, like api so that's why we are using this decorator now we have to uh, create the url for that so what i'm going to do is import that function so from uh, demo dot views i'm going to import index index okay and we are going to create a new path so path will be blank path and on that we are going to call this index function so our urls are also ready now we have to just run and check it out whether it is working or not so i will run that so python manage.py run server no need to apply the migration it is fine because we are not really playing with uh, models or ad admin as well so i'm going to go to thunder client and i'm going to create a new request the new request will be on 127 itself so i'm going to say this and we are going to post this because we will be we are expecting data in request dot post over here so that's why this uh, request is a post type request and let's send and the reply came message shubham uh, replied hello so that means our function is working that's it for this video make sure to subscribe to our channel because upcoming videos will explain how you can create your own middleware and how to use them see you in the next one